Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Rivero. He's a warm blood gelding, he's 14 years old, he's a Hanoverian and he's been off work for about 18 months. So he's just coming back into work, I'm bringing him back in very slowly and one of the tools that I make a lot of use of is long reining. So I have actually long reined him um, for a day or two in the round pen which is behind me here and now I've brought him out into the arena so that means it's a little bit more difficult for him, um, he needs to think a little bit more about direction and things. What you will notice though and what I think is really important here is how relaxed he is. So he's being obedient to the sort of walk trot and canter signals but he's remaining relaxed and he's not really changing his posture much at all in those transitions. So I think that's really important. I think it's really important that we start with relaxation. Sometimes when a horse comes in that's been off work for a while you know they can be a little bit overexcited and they can be um, a little bit more difficult to control so don't try and work that out of them what I'd rather you do is engage their brain look at their emotional level and then when they're relaxed then start to make things a little more challenging for them um, or a little bit more stimulating or increase their emotional level a little bit then but don't try and work it out of them. So one of the really important things I think when a horse is either being first started or when it's coming back into work is the posture it carries itself in. So I'm not riding this horse this week so what I want him to be doing is using those muscles that he's going to need to carry me. So you can see is in a nice sort of soft outline here and that enables him to use his top line muscles and those are the muscles he's going to need to carry me so those are the muscles I want to work I don't want to just exhaust him into submission so I don't want to get him in he's been on a break I don't want to get him in and run him around the round pen or lunge him for hours until he's too tired to object I want him to understand what we're doing and I want him to be relaxed with everything that we're doing so this is a really good sort of first week these are the sorts of exercises we're going to do if you want to learn more about how to long run your horse go along to my website canduequine.com and have a look at one of the free resources on that site and i will see you tomorrow mm.